How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's it's all a little dizzying, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and the have you done this before? You seem like interviewing. Yeah. No, 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 my first time. My first okay. time. No, I'm nervous, but we're all actors, so we do a good job of faking it. So yeah. <laughs> Um Kitty I, I the first thing I wanted to ask you I know that you come from a very successful film family both your parents are veteran uh, artists in their own right your dad was a director your mother was an actress and is a producer also a director right no no okay dad was a producer I'm so <laughs> sorry and uh, your mother was an actress and uh, did did you stumble upon cinema or did you harbor a passion did you want to become an actress it was uh, always uh, driven because of passion i always wanted to become an actor uh, from the time i saw my mom on screen okay so that was always there in fact Do you remember uh, when? what age you remember i think uh, my second standard or third standard okay and it's uh, it's behind a beautiful story that um, uh, actually my mom she uh, the first movie that she did in malayalam was called opol okay and she was she was really expecting a national award at that time for that and okay. she used to tell her stories of how uh, she lost it and okay how she didn't get it and that's when it actually triggered me like i should get this for my mom and that's how Okay. It actually all started from, and today I'm sitting with you here. How sweet! After the awards, so this is all like a what dream come true. What is your mom's reaction? Mom is all on cloud nine, and she's super happy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's like it's actually the word. I mean, the phrase "dream come true" is like right. you know. I feel it. It has a meaning today. Right. <laughs> I can imagine. That's a lovely story. Yeah. I didn't expect that. <laughs> the reason I started with that was because we worked together, although very yeah. briefly. Uh, Kirti had done a guest appearance in another film that I directed, and uh, the one thing that that stood out for me was how involved you were. You were very, very involved, whatever the take. And I remember how involved you were in dubbing and getting it right. And uh, the reason I wanted to ask you is, coming from a film family, it would have been easy for you to take things easy. but you didn't you were very involved i wanted to understand if that change happened because of mahanati or if you were very driven from a young age Actually, did mahanati make you take cinema more seriously definitely i started feeling more responsible um, towards my work towards cinema after mahanati right yeah. um, definitely after mahanati till then i think uh, i didn't get into uh, details too much but after that i thought i can't give a space for anything to go wrong right it has to be on point so uh, i think manati just changed it completely i felt i think i'm even more resp- responsible than how i was 3 yes. 4 years ago <laughs> and in it makes it a pleasure for a director to work with when you have an actor who's so involved Thank and you. who's trying to own what she's doing and make sure she gets it right that's what you all you know you really need someone yeah. who's motivated <laughs> on the set and that was such a pleasure thank <coughs> you now here's another interesting thing on i want to ask you about mahanati we'll start with something very curious and then we'll move on to more cheerful things okay i remember when the project was announced that a lot of eyebrows were raised because kirti at that point she was this very popular young girl uh, you know people took a shine to her movie? there was a lot of affection for you <laughs> and yet you were largely untested as a talent yeah. if you know what i mean yeah, i don't think exactly. you got no role that allowed you to show people what you were capable of yes so when mahanati was announced and people said kirti suresh is going to play mahanati savitri people were like eh okay <laughs> i i remember there was a it was a very common yeah. industry yeah. especially yeah. industry especially Did that ever get to you? Did you no, get to actually, hear about it, or did no, the team insulate you? No, um, fortunately or unfortunately, when I was promoting the movie, is when I got to know when uh, people were asking me the same question, like how did you feel when this was the reaction? I was like, was that the reaction? I really didn't know. I was. so involved in not uh, have directed <laughs> keep you insulated from yeah I, i i i didn't even look at the comments or anything which was happening around the movie all that i remember was i think uh, the first day of shoot one picture 
leaked and i i know i knew that at that time that was a point of discussion uh, like this can't be the look of her and all that <laughs> and she's very untested we don't even know if she yeah. can act well what's yeah. going on here i remember there was a very common reaction i didn't take too much into me because i didn't even see what was happening around good. me <laughs> good you didn't and the film then came and blew people away and they were like wow i don't think anybody can imagine anybody else is mahan at all thank you so much what <clears throat> What was the process? O- only person who kept me confident throughout the movie was Nagi, my right. director. Um, otherwise, I was always skeptical. I never knew if I was doing the right thing. And Nagi, after every shot, he's not like he he is very expressive. He's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I know. Okay. I'm like, I-, I think I did a pretty good shot. I think I I. I think you can still react more yeah, yeah. <laughs> he like he's he's like you know you know very chill no more saying yeah he's he's in his own zone and he's very chill so uh, it was so when your director says superb wow this that you feel like okay i think i'm doing a good job so in nagi's case he's, he doesn't he's not at all expressive i mean he's expressive in a very different way so i just didn't know if i was doing the right thing but i never uh, you know gave up on it i was uh, i never no, was this was one of my yeah, ideas yeah because from the beginning um, sonagi gave me a pen drive where there were a lot of savitri ma's movies right. i've watched all her movies before but uh, these were like very specific like emotional scenes uh, humor scenes so when i used to go and watch them and they, we did replicate a few scenes in in right. mahanari like maya Some bazaar iconic scenes yeah so such scenes is when uh, where what i had to like uh, watch it on loop to see it, to get her exact nuances and uh, otherwise um, to get uh, the 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 way savitri garu does her his style you can't keep watching it over and over again because right. what happens is you feel like no i can't do this i shouldn't be watching It this be anymore because right. how much ever i watch it i, I mean a per, if you ask me to do something uh, which i did in my first take for the second take i'll be like what did i do right. and if you ask a third person to do what another person has done and it's completely different right That so mimicking and, yeah. and acting and creating it yourself yeah so it used to be very difficult to replicate and the challenge was how to show her on screen as a person who who she was not on screen right like behind how right. she was as was a person right. because we've not i've not met her i don't know her so i spoke to her daughter vijay chamundesh bigaru and you know got a Mm, lot of tips from her. She, she, she said a lot of things which actually kind of matched between us. Like she's a good swimmer. Okay. I, I swim pretty well. Um, and uh, some, some uh, reaction. Uh, you know, like we do this to scare kids away. Right. Right. right? right. Yeah, so she does it's that. So it's it's small small things. So it was very surprising in the beginning when she told me I was like okay there are some things which are matching. And on top of all I think the way we walk is very similar. Okay. It's because uh, Vijaya Garu she came to the set and she's like the way you walk is also just like Amma I was like really? that is the way I walk. We thought <laughs> you know I was you had put in effort. <laughs> <laughs> okay now nah, then I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> so a lot of things so it was it was definitely a challenge uh, definitely she was not like a new person to me we had always known her and now that i know her more <laughs> you are her <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you the, the second part of the question i i want to understand i'm very fascinated about it see you're recreating an era where the acting meter was very different mm-hmm. it was theater driven and the audiography back in those times necessitated actors to shout a little more therefore your expressions were also a little louder the acting meter was very different was there a conscious decision to say no we'll replicate that same meter in the scenes where you were in front of the camera as savitri 
or did you say that you know let's let's sort of abandon so that so this was uh, my very first doubt which i asked my director mm. so i asked him so the acting meter those days were different so very what do you want me to do do you so this because it can become farcical yeah. yeah so i asked him uh, so when we portray savitri garu as a person like mm. in her you know real life should that meter be a little up right i asked him this question he said no it, it's not necessary like as a person she wouldn't be like how she's on screen correct right so we don't need that you but know? on screen but on screen he wanted you to ha yeah replicate. so on screen yeah on screen replicate and you know because vijay garu told me a lot of nuances like about her her mannerisms so i just to those two you know just like how do i explain for example uh apparently she wet her lips before every shot okay so if you see in the mahanati song at one place mm. before uh, uh, he clicks a picture of mine i think for the lux photo shoot we right. replicated i'll do this very 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 so it is it is ha uh, so it's just mm. about we just tried to incorporate her mannerisms here and there the way she walks small small things the way nice. she, the way she does with her lips she does this thing <laughs> right right right, right. that's of there in the beginning of course so just put all her mannerisms together and you know it forms a character right at the end people might argue that it's not important but the character starts beginning to i mean the character begins to feel more lived in yeah right yeah. It, it's more detailed yeah. you, you see those little details and that's when exactly you, you are able to buy the fact that this is someone exactly right? so in the beginning i was very confused as what's a personality like how will i bring in that character so when you read the mannerisms right. so when he gave you the pen drive uh, did he also ask you to do homework on what she was like off screen or you know did you by yourself Nagi take an effort ask me to do anything no <laughs> he didn't okay. ask me to, he only asked me to do the movie that's okay. all <laughs> because in the beginning uh, as i think you know when he narrated the script i said no i'm not doing this movie so oh, they really? were oh, yeah i said huh? i i reject Why? i rejected the offer because i was scared right. uh, like you know i i didn't know like how uh, because of what? i didn't know that <laughs> Thank God she did. <laughs> she didn't reject it. I mean, because uh, this it's all positive today, and it's all like good course, things around me. It's a bit daunting me. back then. But I never thought this is going to happen. It was all I I had. It was haunting me in a different way. So. Oh, I, I can totally imagine. Yeah. So I said no, and then Nagi was so confident. He was like. Uh, I can see you doing the young portion, the old portion, especially the young portion, which is why I think uh, he narrated it to me. And I asked him why me. I had the question why me because I don't know like out of all well, the other people why me. Well. So later when we were doing the movie, he was telling me I don't know. I he saw this Tamil movie of mine with Dhanush sir. It's called Thodari. Of course. You saw a song yeah. from that and you was like I liked your eyes. I was <laughs> about to guess that it must have been the eyes. Yeah, right. I don't know. I was like okay, fine. I mean, mm. so he he had a vision. Right. So uh, thanks to Nagi otherwise I I don't think we'll be sitting and talking here. Right. And uh, then he pushed and he said you can do it. It'll be nice. I thought okay if somebody else is feeling so much confident on me then why not myself i think i should give it a try uh, and the other so so there was no brief from ragi whatsoever as to wanting to replicate how savitri garu was off screen no it was more like i used to shoot a lot of questions to nagi okay. more than him like he was very chill i i was like am i doing the right job that he's he seems so confident or is he unhappy <laughs> or is he just given up then <laughs> uh, yeah that he's so unhappy that he's given up so yeah. th th that's how he reacts right yeah. so yeah but no but i 
whatever little I know of him, of the few interactions I've had with him, I sense a guy who has a very silent yeah, conviction, you know, who knows what he's doing, <laughs> and who knows how to get the job yeah, done. Yeah, so. exactly. So. <laughs> but you don't know that, right? You're yeah, working yeah. with him the first time, and that now that I'm used to him, I know the next time I work with him, I know okay, this is what he is. <laughs> right. Yeah. Moving on from Mahanati, I mean. So many accolades around the world. It's done so well in so many film festivals around the world, and today the national award, the icing on the cake. It can't not have an impact on how you choose your future films. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's sort of like a cloud yeah, I told you over all your decisions. It's right? a big responsibility. It is, it is. And you can't escape the fact that you did this film. It became a runaway success, and yeah. there's so much respect. I do you at all? Feel scared to go do a song and dance routine in two scenes in a big film now, or definitely. I mean, as I told you, I feel more responsible now, and even if you do um, a a small character or or, or a song or whatever, you definitely feel like you know you need that importance, right? even if it's a if it's in a big movie. And I think the awe and now. Now, um, after this, I think the offers that come our way are also pretty much thankfully. like that. Thankfully. Yeah, thankfully. So it takes that one visionary director to see in you that nobody else is seeing. Yeah. And then people will follow suit. They will yeah. be like, ah, no, no, Keithy will handle it. So I get it. <laughs> I understand. But I mean, see, you're also someone who's who's doing big tentpole films on the other hand. <laughs> so are you now? Sort of consciously asking directors that you want to have a more active role, and rather than a passive role in how the story moves forward, how your character affects the story, or I are you just politely saying no to those films, or? Um, like I said, I have not gotten any offers that, you know, where. Uh, think yeah, th there's nothing. Yeah, I've not got any offers like that, but you get more. Women centric films, right? Which is, uh, which is actually very scary. <laughs> no, that. Okay, this is a personal opinion. Until a bunch of you girls come out and and hammer down that glass ceiling and prove to people that listen, you invest money on films that are centered around us, we can make that money back for you. Until a bunch of you girls like Samantha does it today, you're doing it today. Nayantara is there and Tamil doing it. We need that tribe. You know, there are a bunch of us who are thinking of these stories, right? And every time we think of a woman-centric film, the first thing we ask ourselves is, who do I go and put this? I mean, whose shoulders do I go put this on? Who will be able to carry this burden? Yeah. And until a bunch of you come and it's initially it's going to be very difficult, but thankfully there's a bunch of you girls doing it, and. I think a bunch of us a guys. A few years down the lane, that that is going to happen. Right, right. So it's no more. Finally, I think we've gotten to a stage where stage. people have stopped using the word woman-centric film. You never say man-centric film. Right? <laughs> yeah, you know. So why say woman-centric film? I think that, thanks that to is you, because Sam, it's happened. It's it's very new. It's just started happening. No, and not anymore. Thankfully, last three four years. Yeah, yeah, very good. yeah, yeah. Uh, with your, you know, from your Oh Baby to Mahanati. To you know, a bunch of films that have come out where you girls have carried the film on your shoulders, and these films have seen box office returns. So, my request, as both a director who thinks up of stories and as someone who goes to a theater to watch films, is please stick to it. I'm not <laughs> saying don't do the big tentpole films of the big stars. Sure, you can balance that out, but don't feel scared. We trust in you. <laughs> I love, I love it. Girls like you with the talent, with the box office. Confidence now to go do films like that, and I think it's great for Indian cinema, and I think it's great for us storytellers where we don't have to limit ourselves in terms of how we're thinking of our leading women in a film. That like we're not scared right. to write films right. around them. I end with the one question which you probably have been asked in a bunch of interviews before, but uh, one of the early scenes in the film where uh, the left eye tear. Right? Uh, have you been asked that question in every sec every yeah. single interview? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I still need to know. I still need to know. I've heard that it actually did happen with Savitri Garu. So did Nagi give you any references on whether it actually happened? What? Yeah, yeah, it actually happened. It's there in the book also. Uh -huh. He gave me a book. I read that. It's there in the book. When we shot for the scene, I actually made everyone wait for two hours, and I made it happen. 
the way it was you saw. It. Yeah, because I was like, if Savitri Garu has done it, you know, like if that was the talent that she was portraying, and I shouldn't be using glycerin. And so I, there was no I yeah, it was. <laughs> I didn't use glycerin, and I made them wait for two hours. But we got the shot. But that that felt like okay. I did something good. Right. If I had just you know finished it with one Fit little bit of glycerin and just gone, I mean it, it would have been much easier. But I wouldn't have felt satisfied. This made me feel no, more satisfied. Personally, as someone who watched the film, loved the film, I think where I got sold on Kirti Suresh being Savitri, I said, "Whoa, this girl's got something. She's <laughs> she's nailing it." Is that scene? Oh, there, thank it, you. It was just very beautifully staged. It was beautifully scored, I remember, and it was so beautifully acted out by you that I think, to me, when I was watching, I felt that's the, that's the exact moment where I got sold, saying, ah, "Thank you." Okay, this girl is a good actress, and she's Savitri. I can buy it. So, so yeah, congratulations once again. Thank you, uh, and w congrats to you too. Look thank who's you. talking. He's <laughs> got. Uh, uh, for best screenplay, Chila yes. Su. Congrats, Rahul. Thank you, and, uh, Thank you. It was a pleasure work. I've done only one movie with you for yes. one Just two day. days. Yeah, yeah, day, yeah. one one and a half days. I want to do a complete movie. We with should. You. I really do we look should, forward. We to should. We should. I'm looking I, forward. <laughs> all you directors watching, I there are very few around who are as involved as she is. And uh, I've been very lucky to work with quite a few actors like that, and she's definitely one of them. It was such a pleasure. So please write incredible stories for her because she can pull <laughs> it off. She can pull it off. Thank you. And congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph.